All right, so the next one here, Ukrainian NGO smears antiwar.com. So a State Department-linked Ukrainian NGO published a study on June 6th that listed hundreds of individuals and organizations that oppose aid to Ukraine in an effort to smear them as spreading Russian propaganda. The NGO, uh, it's called texty.org.ua. That's what I've seen it named as. It's, it's a URL, but... That, that's the name that you see in its studies. Um, but anyway, they, they listed antiwar.com and several of its staff members, including Eric Garris, who's my boss, who's, you know, the director of antiwar.com. He founded it in 95 with Justin Romando. Scott Horton, who's our editorial director. And Kyle Anzalone, who's our opinion editor, and he, and he helps out with the news and everything as well. Uh, and many antiwar.com contributors. I was not mentioned I kind of feel a little insulted that they didn't pick me. I, I mean, I write so much content for antiwar.com, um, but I, I was left out. Um, and then organizations that we work very closely with were also named, including the Libertarian Institute, which is Scott and Kyle. And, you know, we share some of the same staff um, and the Ron Paul Institute, which is Dan McAdams and, and Ron Paul, of course. And, you know, we, they contribute to us, you know, they, we reprint our stuff. They, they use our stuff in the Liberty Report all the time so they were named as well um and the american conservative which was also included in this list uh reported that this ngo was co-founded by a guy named anatoly bondarenko and he has worked as an instructor for a state department program known as tech camp which provides training for foreign journalists and activists and the tech camps website listed him as a trainer for a ukraine program that brought together more than 60 local journalists, civil society, community leaders, and private sector partners in Eastern Europe with the goal of helping to increase digital and media literacy. So someone who has worked for the State Department uh, started this thing. Um, and the, the title of the report is kind of funny. Uh, it's titled Roller Coaster from Trumpists to Communists, the forces in the U.S. impeding aid to Ukraine and how they do it. The study acknowledges that most of the people listed, quote, do not have direct proven ties to the Russian government or propagandists, end quote. But it claims that, quote, the arguments they use to urge authorities to distance themselves from Ukraine echo key messages of Russian propaganda aimed at depriving Ukrainians of the ability to defend themselves with Western weapons and funds. And um, so they had all these, the organizations, they have little like pages on them and they link to things um, that they call examples of anti-Ukrainian statements. And one of the things that they linked to was uh, our news page for Ukraine, our regional news page for Ukraine, which a lot of this, a lot of this is just stuff um, that we run lower on the page from, you know, other media outlets. A, a lot of it is articles that I write. So basically our news coverage of the war in Ukraine, they view as anti-Ukrainian. Um, <clears throat> so other listed people and organizations are from across the political spectrum based on the title. You, you see that, uh, including former president Donald Trump, all the way to Jill Stein, who's the Green Party presidential candidate now, and dozens of Republican members of Congress were named. And I mean, people that even voted for Ukraine aid up until like very recently, um, you know, they, they named quite a few people here. And media outlets that we frequently link to on our front page, or, you know, you'll see me cover their stories a lot here, were also listed, including Responsible Statecraft uh, and the Gray Zone. And peace groups were also smeared, including people we work closely with, uh, Code Pink, Veterans for Peace, World Beyond War, and many other peace groups. So if you got the time, you know, you could go poke around this thing and look at their big uh, their big graph here and see all the different names um, that are included here. And you'll see Antiwar.com and the Libertarian Institute and Ron Paul. All of us, uh, well, not me. Again, I wasn't named, but... Um, it's quite a few people. And, you know, this is something we, we've seen. Uh, there's been a lot of these lists of so-called Russian propagandists, uh, you know, essentially enemies of Ukraine. The most infamous one, uh, I forget the exact name of it, but it's like a, it's known as the Ukrainian kill list. It's a website that's in Ukrainian and it lists people 
um, that they call enemies of Ukraine. And when somebody on that list gets killed, like Daria Dugina, who is the daughter of Alexander Dugin, who's a very well-known Russian nationalist philosopher, when she was killed, they, they labeled her picture, they put a big label across it that said liquidated. So that's kind of the extreme version of this. But this is something, you know, anything out of line. Again, a lot of people on here, I mean, even Trump, like, he, he basically backed Speaker Johnson's whole Ukraine aid thing. And, uh, you know, anybody who steps just a little bit out of line gets gets thrown on this list here.